Okay, my phone's at 11%, I'm just gonna fucking start. Hello, my name is Madison, and I've decided that on day 100 of hormones, which is today for me, uh, I'm gonna do something to celebrate it, and even if it's not a special occasion for anyone except for myself, uh, I'm doing it anyway. Basically, the gender tag is a project created by A Wild or whoever, the f whatever the fuck their name is, I'll put it right there. Um, and yeah, it's a project that basically aimed to get a sample of the community on YouTube and their gender identities and expressions and all that stuff. And it was doing pretty good in the mid-2000s, but unfortunately the mid-2000s also had anti-SJW and anti-feminist YouTube going on. So, yeah, those clash very well. <laughs> um, and uh, a good example of the bullshit that went down was uh, Milo Stewart is an example of um, a non-binary person who went ahead and did this gender tag thing. They were my age, 17 at the time, and they were fucking bullied by grown men. <laughs> because, you know, that's a, that's a completely okay thing to do, that's just, like, not sad at all. <laughs> but, yeah, um, I think they're doing better now, I've seen their videos, they've survived anti-SJW YouTube, and they're doing pretty good. And I actually had a previous uh, rendition of this video that I recorded, but I was afraid of uploading it for those reasons that, oh, SJ anti-SJW anti YouTube is going to be doing things still, and um, then I realized that the only hate comment I actually got was by someone who, like on my last video, the, the, their username might as well have been LARPERBOY9000 because that's what they were, they were a fucking Nazi LARPer, they literally had 1488 in their fucking username spelled out <laughs> uh, with some, like, big numbers or initials or something. Um, but yeah, if that's all I have to worry about, then I'm gonna be fine, because I can't take those people seriously, come on. Like, I don't, I don't take any, I don't take that much transphobia seriously, I laugh at it unless it's like an actual fucking hate crime. And I feel really bad, because society is fucked, and I already kinda got that, but... Ha! <sighs> I have a... Fucking... <sighs> this is take number eight, by the way. <laughs> I have a list of questions that the gender tag has people answer. And number one is gender identity, and I have a fucking chart. So, we're gonna go over this chart. Um, everyone's familiar with the usual, you know, male and female. Um, but not a lot of people know or accept the fact that there can be really anything in between that. You can be anywhere in between this actual spectrum, which is what it is. Um, in my case, I'm right there. But you can be in between in any way. Uh, you can be around it, you can be gender fluid, so your gender identity, uh, in, your gender identity changes in any way, um, just over the course of a period of time, it can be like months or days or whatever, um, or you can be outside of that gender, outside of gender entirely, just not identify with the gender, and those people are usually called agender, and they usually call themselves agender, but labels are, labels are just labels, you know, but yeah, I kind of relate to agender, um, but I'm not agender because I identify with the gender female. So, I have the second second little uh, thing right here to uh, more accurately map out my gender. I don't do this normally. Let me just let me just be clear, I don't do this normally. I'm not like, hello, hello sir, ma'am, or other. I literally am 25% woman, but yeah, no, right here, 25% woman, 75% nothing. Um, and that's just me, like, um, they have a label for people like me, and that's demigirl. And demigender in general is, um, just a category of gender that includes demiboy and demigirl, but also you can use dem demigender if you don't identify with the binary gender. Um, basically all it means is that you partially identify with the gender, that's it. Uh, the other thing that you identify with could be anything else, it could be a gender like me, or it could be, um, some other non-binary identity. It could even be another bi. It could even be uh, male or female or just the other, any other non-binary or other binary gender, and that would be. Uh, I think that would just be called bi gender at that point. But I don't know. Like I said, labels are labels. You know, use whatever you want. Um, but yeah, that's my gender. Fucking demi girl. And the second question: pronouns. And <sighs> I don't have time to breathe because my phone's almost dead. But pronouns. I use. She, I use she, her, they, them, and it, it's. And a lot of people, even like non-binary people and trans people, uh, look at that and they're like, what the fuck, why do you do that? But I'm gonna explain why. And that's because 
even if there are connotations of um, dehumanizing when using those pronouns, I think that um, it can also be used positively to refer to somebody, like myself. Um, it's kind of just me sort of saying, or me finding a nice label that uh, basically, people. what I've noticed is that, or what I've probably found, there's a nice Reddit post about this, um, that people use it, its pronouns. They don't necessarily think of themselves as an object or anything, but rather they just feel like they're vibing, um, which is the best my vocabulary, my stupid vocabulary can manage to do. Um, like to convey that, um, but yeah, basically, it it's just means that you're vibing, and you're just another creature, you know, but not necessarily not human. I think, for me, it just means that I've fully observed the fact that we're just fucking animals, we're another primate, you know, uh, we may be the fucking smartest species on the planet, which I don't think is true, I just think we're the smartest species that can talk. <laughs> But, um, yeah, she, her, they, them, and it, it's, and everyone knows she, her, but a lot of people say, oh, they, them is, a sing is a not singular, uh, you're butchering the, the English language, but, uh, no, I'm not, <laughs> and let me explain why, uh, because singular they has been a fucking thing in use in the English language for hundreds of years, in fact, I think, I think it, a version of it has been around longer than she, her, or he, him. So, yeah. Those are my pronouns. The next one here is clothing, and I wear masculine clothing because I think that the contrast between my masculine, uh, like, features and female clothing is way too difficult to bear and actually makes me more dysphoric. Um, I think in a year or so, maybe I'll start wearing more feminine things once I'm more comfortable with my body shape, and uh, which I'm already kind of not... I was naturally kind of curvy before I started hormones, but I think it's uh, maybe uh, helped a little bit, but yeah, currently wearing masculine clothing. I have some stuff I wanted to try out, um, like a mock, I thought mock necks were pretty cool, but then I realized that I live in Sacramento and it's summer, and Sacramento is pretty much halfway, it's a lot closer to the fucking sun than the rest of the planet, so, no, nope, <laughs> and then... Cosmetics, so that means um, nails, makeup, fragrances, etc. And I don't do any of that except right now I'm wearing mascara. That's that's all I've done. I used to do more, but uh, I used to wear feminine clothing as well. But I realized that that's just not really for me. Not super feminine stuff, but more feminine stuff I do want to try. Just to clarify, um, misgendering. I get misgendered a lot, and I've kind of accepted it because if you haven't noticed already, I don't. Uh, I'm not using a female voice, and I think that's because I like my voice as it is right now. Um, it's a good. I'm told it's a good a, a podcast voice when I'm not frantically speaking uh, as fast as I can before my phone dies. Um, and I learned to sing, you know, over the past two years, and I don't want to fucking relearn how to do that. I am too lazy and don't give a shit. So <laughs> that's not true. But um, yeah, I'm gonna get misgendered, and I think. I live in California, so I have a pretty good compared to a lot of trans people. I feel bad for the other trans people who live in the states that are like, ooh, that's, uh, you. <laughs> but, um, yeah. I'll just tell them my pronouns, you know. And, uh, the best way, by the way, in case you're not familiar, I don't know. But, I don't know how my 135 subscribers react to like gender or if they know that much about pronouns and stuff, but literally just ask people their pronouns, no trans people are going to be offended by it, you know, no non-binary people who are also trans. I think, yeah, non-binary people would be under the trans umbrella because they don't identify with the gender they were assigned at birth unless they're, like, intersex or something, but again, labels are labels. <laughs> um, the, the seventh thing here is dysphoria, <laughs> and... I, I get dysphoria, and it's not fun, and I mentioned it before, but yeah, it's mainly facial dysphoria. Um, my dysphoria has moved from other places, like, I don't really care about my nose as much as I used to. I actually think it adds um, some character to my face, and I'm part Native American, and you can tell because of my nose. And also, I have kind of like light olive skin, but I don't think you can tell because of my uh, lighting. Um, yeah, but yeah, my eyebrows aren't... I don't freak out about my eyebrows as much because I've been working on them. Um, 
but yeah, it's mainly facial and not really anywhere else. I don't have bottom dysphoria. I, I have chest dysphoria, but it's only present in the form of like, I prefer it when I have boobs. And uh, I have those now, so it's getting better. Um, but yeah, my dysphoria, I'm pretty lucky when it comes to that. Don't have too much of that. And then number eight here is children, and that's that's a very vague question, but I think it's what, it, what it's saying is, uh, would I start a family? No. Even if I could carry children? No. No. And there's a there's an experimental procedure in New Zealand where you can literally get a, u a uterus, but... <laughs> no. Um, yeah, I'm fine with what I have. Um, money, and I think this is this next one is money, and I think it's referring to family, like if I want to support, be the main one to support like a family, uh, whether I pay for stuff uh, during dates, if people, how I feel if people offer me money, and I usually take money if it's offered to me. Uh, I've only dated one person, and I don't think the exchange of money was involved, although I do think I paid for like, ice cream once, but, um, <laughs> and then family, like, I don't know if I want to start a family, but if I do, then right now, Right now, I figure I would want to try to support them financially. And then other stuff. Well, uh, fucking, I'm just gonna say that I've been doing pretty good. My mental health has improved a lot. Um, I went to see Window Girl Live, actually, and it was fucking great. I got to talk to an old friend of mine for the first time in a year. Uh, probably one of the best days I've had in a long time. Uh, and I'm working on my, my concept album. The Sana Horn, I believe, is what it's called. I know that's what it's called. Shut up, Madison. Um, and uh, Meta Dream is my other musical project, and that's that's starting to actually we're starting to figure out how to actually work together to uh, figure out a good way to actually convey my dreams in audio form. I don't know why they're my dreams, but I have the biggest dream journal, so <laughs> of the two of us. But yeah, uh, musical projects are doing good. Life is going good, and. Um, if you refer to a non-binary person as narcissistic because they want you to refer to them with uh, pronouns and like stuff that they actually that actually fits them, you're a bitch. <laughs>